Hey yo, what is up guys, it's Sam, back on the channel here, listen, hey, today's video, listen, we've got a lot of new things to discuss, one of them being, well if you can't see, there's clearly been um, some kind of shaping up going on here with the beard, so as you see we've got a little fade in, well, it's a little bit longer at the front, yeah, we've got a little, nice little new uh, Burberry, definitely not, you see, no guys, it's, it's Burberry, you see that right there, is that what I say, Burberry, listen, Burberry on the collar. It's not from Hollister, guys. Don't worry about that. But anyway, forget the shirt. Forget I even said anything about the shirt. Why, why are you asking about the shirt? I don't even know, guys, to be honest. But anyway, forget that. In today's video, pretty much, we're talking about how to get rich. Now, people are going to ask me more questions now. Just listen, stop asking all these questions. You don't need to know. This video is about how to get rich. Now, people are going to say, Sam, you're not rich. Why, why are you trying to teach people how to get rich? Listen, this is my method on how I'm going to get rich, okay? So if you guys want to listen to that, or if you guys, if you guys want to listen to how, my method on how I'm going to get rich, I'm doing all right so far. I'm not going to lie. For my age, I'm doing pretty well, finance-wise, and just in every other aspect of life, pretty much. You know, that's why, we, that's, that's why they call me well a man in the first place. They call me well a man because I'm a well-rounded man. We're doing pretty well, to be honest. I'm a Sam of all trades, if I must say so. Put it that way. But anyway, guys, basically what I've been thinking over, at least today anyway, um, well, to be fair, the last the last week or so, because basically recently I learned how to backflip on flat ground. So obviously backflip, but without like a trampoline or anything, you just do it on like grass pretty much, uh, or concrete, if you're feeling ballsy. I've yet to do it on concrete. I, just, I don't really see the appeal. I mean, I guess if you're in like a party or something like that, but the thing with me is I don't really go to parties. So it's more just a thing for my confidence. Like it's like, oh, I know I can backflip whenever I want pretty much, which is fun. Um, but the thing is with the backflip, and I'm going to make a separate video talking about why it means so much to me. But this video is just obviously, it's a new title. It's a different video, you know what I mean? So I may as well speak about different things. But yeah, so pretty much today's video, obviously about how to get rich is I think because for me myself this is what I came to the conclusion of when I did learn how to backflip the backflip to me I put it on so much of a pedestal so high like to the point where I was like am I actually going to achieve this like imagine I go my whole life without achieving you know learning how to backflip and knowing how to backflip whenever I want on the floor and obviously being able to act upon it now I always thought when I was younger and stuff like that I've wanted to know how to backflip ever since I can remember really I've always wanted to know how to backflip and I've only just learned it in the last few weeks uh, or month or so. But it was a long, slow, grueling grind to get it on ground and you have spent so long. There's so many hours, probably yeah, a few hours long of videos on my camera all of me just repeatedly trying the same shit over and over until eventually one day I did get it. Um, and I'll make a video explaining how I did that. I'll make a video explaining how to backflip in 24 hours just using the techniques that I use, then, you know, it'll make it a lot, lot easier for yourself, pretty much, rather than, you know, going through all the shit that I had to go through to try and figure it out, which realistically shouldn't have took me that long, but it's just because I put it on that much of a pedestal. To me, it was literally about as hard as I imagine getting rich to be. So I am, I imagine backflipping on ground to be as hard as getting rich. So that's kind of a mad thought to have, the fact that I can now backflip, and I also associate that on a parallel level with getting rich which is really really mad to think about so i'm basically making this video today guys not really to speak too much on the backflip because i've got plenty of videos coming on that soon anyway uh, how you guys can do it uh, you know what benefits it has to you know i've, I've regained my six pack uh, as you guys will see in a video this week as well uh, obviously i'm gonna put it on the thumbnail because it's a bit basically about my physique as well because uh, if you guys look at my older videos from about five months ago everything like i mean face wise i guess my skin may have probably got smoother because I've not I'm not had a drink in about six months or so. Um, you know, I've probably I've lost a lot of weight. I'm like I was around I think I was around 90 kg back then. I'm now 83 kg, so I've lost seven kilograms, which is a decent amount. Uh, obviously, I don't want to get skinny or anything. You know what I mean, I've still got muscle. Um, but regardless, guys, yeah. So what I'm basically trying to say is that I learned how to backflip. I put that on a pedestal to the point where it's the same for me as getting rich. So what I'm basically advising you guys to do 
is to find something that you would put on the same pedestal as getting rich and then go out and achieve that. Now, it will be something hard, don't get me wrong, like it's not just going to be something easy and then you go like, oh, boom, that, yeah, now I can get rich, now I know and I can, you know, have the same mentality as a rich, but no, it has to be something that you personally find really hard. Um, now, that's not just something that like, you know, the average person may find easier, but you just might find it a bit harder because of one certain reason, but no, because the average person can't backflip, you know, it's, it's a hard skill to learn. Um, you know, given that I, I've been training parkour for years, I've been training parkour and free running since I was 16. Uh, I've been training flips since I was, I was around 15, but I had to have like a year off because I actually had a really, really bad injury with one of my legs. Uh, I did dislocate my knee and it went around to the back of my leg. So that, that took me out of the game for quite a while. I'll just be honest about that. But um, so I've been training parkour and flips since I was around 15, 16. Um, and it's taken me that long. It took me, a, it took me a couple of years to learn the backflip on the trampoline because that, what to me, was quite scary as well. And then it's taken me since I was seventeen. It's been three years, and I've finally learned how to backflip on flat. Now that's not just obviously that's not constant fucking days and days and days since I was seventeen of just grinding out to get the backflip. Obviously, you know, I've taken time off and stuff like that. But over time, because I've, I've had it on a pedestal for so many years, it has taken me a lot longer than some people may take to learn it because obviously i've had it on this pedestal the same literally the same pedestal as if i was to get rich so i think the main thing i'm trying to basically get across to you guys is with a skill that you would pick like which is obviously similar to like you know me with the backflip where i have it on the same kind of pedestal as i do with getting rich what kind of skill you want to pick is something that's like you know because i mean i guess some people's goals when it comes to getting rich like you know they'll associate similar things to like having material items stuff like that but you can have situations and you can achieve things without it being material but also have it on the same level as getting rich because if you was to ask me before i learned how to bike flip if you was to ask me oh yeah what would you do with the money when you get rich i was like oh invest in myself invest in a business my personal brand get this car get that car you know be associated with these people uh, wear these clothes you know smell this good like and then I'd, I'd be like, I'd have a coach for like fighting. I'd have a personal coach for fighting. I'd spend a lot more time on fighting, a lot more time on climbing, free running. I'd have a personal coach to teach me how to backflip in this amount of time. Because that was just one of like, I mean, fair enough, I know other flips. I can side flip on floor. I can front flip on floor. Um, I can do like a front half on floor as well. It's a little bit janky, but I can still do it. But um, I, can do, I can do a lot of stuff like that. But the main thing for me was just the backflip. Like it was the, the, the mental... Thing, the mental like pedestal that I'd put it on, it was so annoying that I was like, I just thought about it all the time. I was like, I need to get, I need to at some point soon get this done. Cause I had, I had in my goals for 2025 as well. Um, and it was like one of the things, one of the like higher up goals that I was like, am I actually gonna achieve this before or within 2025? And I've now achieved it obviously way before 2025. So I'm very, very happy about that. And that I've got that out of the way. Um, but you guys need to basically just find another skill that's very similar to me with the backflip, like something that is not like a material item that you can just save up and buy, because that's not that's not a smart decision, and it's not a smart investment just because you put it on the same pedestal as getting rich. That's like you say, no, when I'm going to get rich, I'm going to buy this Louis Vuitton bag, so I'm going to buy this Louis Vuitton bag now with the little money that I've got so that I feel rich, and then it's like almost like law of attraction. No, bullshit because you need to find something that you can do, some kind of skill or some kind of, I don't know, something that's not material, something that's not something that you can buy when you do become rich. Because then, like, I mean, fair enough, yeah, I said I could buy a coach to help me buy for but this is something I've also been able to self-teach. My, I'm, all my all the flips and stuff I know are self-taught. Fair enough, I may have picked up tips and tricks of people, but all of them are self-taught. Um, all of my free running and stuff like that is self-taught as well. So everything that I do there is self-taught. And so I've managed to teach myself this skill the same way a lot of you guys could probably teach yourself skills that you put on the same pedestal as becoming rich. You know, something that you find really, really hard mentally and physically. And, you know, you put this on the same level as being rich. For some people, it may be like, you know, lifting 100 kg chest press. And um, some people, it may be like, you know, achieving like a muscle up, getting a 10k jog. Just these, these like big goals like this. Um, 
you know, for some people, it may be like a big, big thing for them. Whereas like, obviously for me, it was the backflip. So you just have to find something similar level to what you would associate with getting rich. Like fair enough, it might be bang, it might not be bang on the same level because obviously getting rich is a pretty, pretty big thing. But for me, the backflip was getting a big thing. So could be the same for you guys. But anyway, think on that guys. Peace.